Lynn here with another video. So today I decided to start a new segment called Cooking with Pringle Can. Or Pringle Can in the kitchen, you know, whatever you prefer. So today, even though I am not of Mexican descent, I will be making a Mexican food, a Mexican dessert called Tres Leches. So basically Tres Leches means three milks in Spanish. It's a milk cake. Um, and you use condensed milk and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to make it, okay? Okay, and please, it's use this rapidly hair. All right, so first, you guys can see, so let's come a little closer. So, first things first, you guys, you have to preheat the oven to 350, which I already took care of. Next, you get your dish. What you're gonna use right now, I have a nine by 13, but you can use, I mean, whatever size you want and just alter it a little bit. So we get our nonstick cooking spray and we're gonna spray it on there. There we go, now we got that spray down. And just to make sure that it doesn't stick, we're going to get our parchment paper, which is this. You guys can see it, okay. And we're just gonna lay that out. And then we're gonna spray the parchment paper as well. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys can't really see the mix. So we sprayed the parchment paper and we have all that on. So we're just gonna let this cool to the side. Not cool, but just hang out on the side and we're gonna move on to our next thing. So So I already have everything else measured out, but um, now we have to get the flour and the baking powder. Um, I have it over there, but first I just want to show you that when you do um, get all the ingredients, you have to make sure when you get it, make sure you level it off. You don't want too much, too little, all that kind of stuff. So we have to get one and one half cup of flour, and I kind of just press my hand on it to level it. See, nice level surface. So right now I'm using a half because I couldn't find my whole cup of these. So that's one, and that's a half, and now I have to get the other half. Okay, so that's one cup of flour right here, and now we just need to get the half. Cup. Okay, so we got our flour in, and I previously already have our baking powder set up, so I'm going to grab that and we'll mix it together. So now I have the baking powder, and we're just going to mix it in with the flour. And this is one tablespoon of baking powder, right? And so we're just going to mix it together so it's nice and combined. So let's move on to the next. Okay guys, so the, now that we let the flour and baking powder vibe on the side, we're moving on to our next step. So I got this bowl, and so basically we are, so first you need four large eggs and you separate the whites from the egg yolk, right? So right now I have my egg whites right here, and so we're just gonna pour it into the bowl. You can see it. And um, you can use an electric mixer, but I don't have an electric mixer, so we're just gonna mix this together a little bit. Until it gets good, you'll start seeing the bubbles. So that sound must mean that the oven is finished preheating, but we're not done with this yet, so we can't put anything in. We're basically going to mix them until they get, see how this little bubbly consistency? We're mixing them until they get about like that. And so we have here, you're going to get um, one and a half, one and one half cup of sugar. And we're going to gradually add that in to 
the eggs. So just put a little bit in and then mix it if you're doing it like I am, so you can mix it together pretty well. And then just keep doing like that, little by little by little, so it mixes together well. And again, if you have an electric mixer, this would be easier, but I can't find it. So we're just gonna keep it going like this. And I'll come back to you guys after I'm done mixing the sugar with the, uh, the egg whites, and I'll let you guys know the next step after that. So now that you've mixed together your egg whites and your sugar, you should get this consistency. See how it looks almost as if it's like icing? That's what you wanna aim for, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna add is our eggs one by one, not all at once, just a little bit and then mix it and then the next one. So mix that together. Next you do the eggs, mix those. And I'll come back to you guys after I finish adding the eggs. The egg yolks. The egg yolks. So now that we've added the eggs in, you can see it has more of a yellow tone because those are the egg yolks. So now we're going to gradually add the flour and baking powder mixture. And um, we also have our half cup of milk. And we're going to add that in as well. And you could choose whatever milk you like. Uh, the whole milk or stuff like that or you could change it up for soy or something if you want it like that so let's if I mean if you want to try a different so we're gonna add a little bit of the flour right and you want to kind of measure it out to put the flour in three times and the milk in twice so we got some of our flour in and we're gonna mix that around Now, when you keep doing that, you start to see it turn more into that doughy substance because of the flour, of course. So you got the flour. We're mixing that in. And then I'm going to do some of the milk. And I'll come back to you guys after I'm finished adding the flour and the milk. And we'll see where we are and move on to the next step. Okay. Okay, guys. So now that you mix together the flour and baking powder mixture with the half cup of milk, you get this beautiful consistency. As you can see, it's kind of like I don't know, like a pancake mix, but it's nice and shiny and all that. So now I like to add a little flair to mine, and so I put just a little bit of vanilla extract on it. So we're just gonna put a little bit of vanilla on here. And if you wanna get technical and measure it or whatever, I would say use about, I mean, depending on how vanilla-y you want it, use about a tablespoon. I mean a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Cause you don't need too much, you don't need the vanilla flavor over it, powering the already natural nice flavor of the tres leches okay so now that we added in our beautiful extracts you get just beautiful smell and so we already had our dish that we're going to use to put this in vibing on the side so just for a precaution to make sure it doesn't stick you want to dust it with a little bit of flour you know like if you're making any of the other cake or cupcake stuff like that so you can see we put the flour on it and i and this is our beautiful batter you mainly see the um you mainly see the flour i put it on the sides where i could not reach for the um like that i did not put parchment paper on but i still added some to the middle of that so now you just grab it and we're just gonna add it all in and make sure you try and add it evenly and you know this is one of those kinds of cakes that you can save it like if you think you messed up in the baking process of it you can still salvage it like like if you may have burnt it a little bit 
what we do later on, what I'll show you what we do later on is it'll still help it out. So we're just gonna get all this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mixture in here. I'm just gonna get all of it out. And for this part, because it is a little harder for me to do it with a whisk because this is such a big bowl, I have my handy dandy little spatula on the side and I just use that to scrape it all out. And so, now we have all this in here. We already have our um, oven preheated for 350. So make sure you guys don't forget that step because you're gonna need it already prepped up so your batter doesn't sit, okay? So, we have all this in here. It's looking good. You guys can see it, it's all in there nice and good. So now I'm just gonna pop it in the oven for 30 minutes and I'll set a timer. And in the meantime, we are going to be making the topping for, for the cake. Okay, so while the cake is baking, we're just gonna make the topping for the cake right now. And it's like, I don't know if you've ever had a sponge cake before, but it's gonna be very light. So we're making a light covering, which is our whipped topping. So I already have, here we have a cup of heavy whipping cream and we're just gonna put that in a bowl. Okay, and then we have our tablespoon of powdered sugar and we're gonna add that in and we're just gonna mix it together until it gets uh, soft peaks like whipped cream. And I'll be back with you guys to show you the end result. Okay, you guys, so I'm done whipping it up. And it looks, you gotta have this nice consistency, you know, and you get the peaks. So it looks just like whipped cream. But I realized after putting this in, this probably won't be enough for the cake that I'm making, like the size. So I'm just gonna add some more heavy whipping cream and powdered sugar. And like for every let's say a cup of heavy whipped cream you put in just put about a tablespoon of powdered sugar in so it's evened out you don't have too much of whichever one sorry yeah okay so i'll be back with the final final product of this after i add the more heavy whipped cream and powdered sugar in it okay so i finished the whipped cream i made it bigger as you can see it's on the thing like it has a really good consistency and it just tastes like just like any old whipped cream would do except this one's made from scratch so i mean if you are really lazy when you make this leches and you have a can of whipped cream or like ready whip that's what's called right you shake it up spray it on there spread it out top it you'd be good you'd be good because it's essentially the same thing you just need something light for a cake like that that's all I mean, it tastes good. Icing wouldn't match. I mean, you can try it if you want, but I don't think it would work. I've had a lot of tres leches in my life, and honestly, never had it with anything but a whipped topping on top. So yeah, now we're done that. We are gonna let this beautiful bowl vibe on the side. So, not only did that, um, we are just going to have to wait until the cake is finished in the oven, and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I just took our beautiful cake, as you can see beautifully golden brown and make sure that you check it with a fork before you take it out um, to make sure that it's all done but I just finished the cake and it's out so now we're just gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes and we're going to make our mixture of milk 
for the tres leches, yeah? And that'll be what you put on the cake. So first we get our sweetened condensed milk and this is 14 fluid ounces. And we're just gonna get all that in there. And then we get our, I mean, make sure you get all of it out. I mean, this condensed milk moves pretty slow because it's really sugary. So you don't have to add any more sweetener or nothing because it's already really sweet. Um, and then we add our evaporated milk and this is 12 fluid ounces. And we're just gonna add all that in there. And then we're gonna add one more cup of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna put all these in the bowl and I'll come back to you guys once they're all in because this condensed milk is going to take a while. So now we got our tres leches, the condensed milk, evaporated milk, and the heavy whipping cream inside the bowl. So we're just going to mix it up, kind of get them together, just combine it. I'm using our spatula this time to try and just get it because you know with the condensed milk and take some time so i'm gonna mix this together and come back to you guys for the next step okay you guys so now that the the this leches mixture is done and the cake's been cooled you're just gonna take your fork while the cake is still just a little bit warm and poke holes throughout the whole thing then we take the tres leche mixture and pour it over the entire cake. Normally, I was going to flip it and then do it so you have a more flat surface when you apply the whipped topping, but it got kind of stuck and my cake is going to rip if I lift it because I didn't fully put parchment paper over the entire bowl. So I'm just going to poke the holes and show you guys how to pour it and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I just finished putting the holes in the cake with the fork, as you can see. And now we are going to take our Thres Liches mixture and just pour it over the whole top of the cake. And now we just leave this in to soak overnight. So you can put your whip mixture on top now or you can put it on later, whichever you prefer. But either way, you just put it on top and you can sprinkle a little cinnamon and that's it. That's how you make the sledges. So I am nine. So thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another cooking video. So don't forget to come by and chef it up with Pringle Can. Peace.